Southwest Arkansas veteran is concerned after several patients just like him were possibly misdiagnosed by a pathologist at the Veterans Health Care System of the Ozarks. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Alex Capriello. KNWA's Peyton Yeager sat down with him so he could share his story. The VA first found the physician who has not been named yet to be impaired in March of 2016. Then over a year later, their doctor was found impaired again in October 2017. That's when the VA fired the employee. Since the doctor was at the hospital since 2005, the VA now has close to 20,000 cases to go through as the federal investigation continues. One veteran I spoke to today tells me he still doesn't know who or what to believe. I'm one of the victims, as I call this, okay? Steve Isaacson served in the military for 20 years. This includes fighting for our country in Vietnam. You're such a good boy. Now he has a new battle to take on. Isaacson received this letter in the mail from the Veterans Hospital in Fayetteville. And I had to shake my head and read it again. I couldn't read what I was reading. I was angry, and I'm still angry. KNWA was there when the VA announced the investigation into all cases seen by the impaired pathologist. Isaacson is one of almost 20,000 patients that may have been misdiagnosed. He took an oath. So what he's doing is malpractice. Isaacson is a disabled veteran and has relied on the VA center for decades. All that's mine. He says he never saw any signs that would lead to this type of problem. You're not diabetic. Your, your, your liver's okay. This is okay. That's okay. According to this, maybe they weren't okay. But he tells me he and other veterans are demanding answers. It's between a class action suit or they need to contact every veteran that got this letter and make an offer to them. The hospital has confirmed seven people so far have been misdiagnosed and one patient may have died. I asked Isaacson, what if the worst happens to him? If I would die tomorrow, I've got a couple of things I would say. I may be dead, but I'm going to haunt you. I spoke with the communications director at the VA hospital. She says the center has no further comment on the issue. The VA ex expects this investigation to take several months. Live in studio, Peyton Yeager, KWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Well, if you have questions and concerns you want to raise about the possible misdiagnosis of patients from the VA, you can attend a town hall tomorrow morning. According to Wanda Scholl, she's the public affairs officer with the VA. Beginning at 11 a.m., head to the Veterans Health Care System of the Ozarks on College Avenue in Fayetteville. That's where you'll find officials with the hospital who will be on hand to address your needs. Scholl released a statement on behalf of the hospital regarding the town hall, which reads, The town hall is being held with the goal of ensuring veterans, their families, and and beneficiaries are provided with the most current information and have their concerns addressed by senior VHSO officials. VHSO will also be joined by representatives from the Veterans Benefits Administration to help answer any related benefits questions veterans may have.